While Vancouver offers countless beautiful locations, there are times when you need a break from the busy city life. But don't worry, because British Columbia has numerous breathtaking places to visit, all within a short drive from Vancouver, Canada. Let us introduce ourselves. We are Nat, Max, and Baby Skylar, a small family traveling around our wonderful home country and enjoying the chance to show Max's parents the stunning sights of beautiful British Columbia after being reunited with them after a long time apart. Berry to have some breakfast and they move the blueberry waffles here at their winery. So we've been here quite a few times now and since it's still winter spring it's still cold outside they held it here inside the winery to take the orders and we can bring it outside to eat it. Hello baby! Look who's away! Good morning! Hello! Do you know where you are? You know you're in a good place now. Where's my waffles? <laughs> So, if you guys haven't already noticed, since Max's parents are here in Canada visiting us for the very first time, most of the places that we've been throughout the last few videos were places that we've already been to. Some of them we frequently go to, but some of them we haven't really visited in the last couple of years. So it's been really nice to see all of these places again and rediscover the beauty of them. And especially now that we have Skylar experiencing the places with us. <laughs> Still smoking hot. What with frame, baby? <laughs> I think someone is complaining. Skylar, this she wants the first bite. This one's for you. Sky. You want a bite? Oh. So it's Skylar's first time here at Crowsberry Farms, and she wore her very pretty gown today. You like your outfit today? So she's ready for all those pictures, all those photo ops in her sparkly outfit. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So here's kind of the situation. So I feel like we sort of enjoyed the blueberry waffles too much that we took a lot of time in Crossberry Farms. The thing is, we have a 10 o'clock ticket for the Chilliwack Tulip Festival, which Right now, it's already 11.30. That's why I dropped off Max and Mama by the gate so they can ask if we can still use our tickets and get in. So hopefully, we don't have to buy a new ticket. So happy. Oh no. Time to get some vitamin B, Skyler. <laughs> they were nice enough to let us in because it's not that busy since it's a weekday and we are early. So that's good for us. <laughs> so you're in a hurry. Well, you better calm down. We're all friends around you. Just join the fun. If you're in a so as we stepped in, the lady was just telling us that in this farm, there's a total of 7 million bulbs of tulips. That's pretty wild. Skyler! Welcome to the Tulip Festival! Do you know what the tulip is? Huh? It's a beautiful day. It's an oh, so come on, let's play. I can't remember the last time we were here. I think that was way back 2018, 2019. Yeah, a few years ago. Yeah. I think that was the first time when we moved here in Vancouver mm -hmm. when we started exploring some of the events here in British Columbia. So it turns out that this is one of the biggest events that happens here in British Columbia. Welcome to your first festival! Yay! Lots of flowers and colors. Do you like it? Huh? So I'm not sure if Skylar already appreciates the flowers, but for sure, she's appreciating all of the colors here. It still feels pretty epic as the first time we've seen this place. 
But to be honest, I think we've come a little bit late in the season to see these flowers. I saw on their website that these are some of the late bloomers and are already in the late bloom stage already. I feel like if there's one thing that has changed, it's not really this event, but more so our lifestyle. Before, it was okay to just spend hours and hours taking photos in the field. But right now, we have a little one to care for. So Skylar can't really spend that much time under the sun, especially with her skin being a baby. I remember last time when it's just the two of us, we went to two different tulip festival on the same day, right? Yeah, it was Abbotsford and this one, Chilliwack. Yeah, we did one in the morning and one in the afternoon, and we just don't care. We just wanted to take a lot of photos. <laughs> <laughs> How things have changed now. Yeah, <laughs> and now with a baby, I was like overprotective with the sun and the mosquitoes and all of the bugs. <laughs> uh, we can't really put any sound blocks on her, eh? Yeah, no sunscreen for six months and below. Yeah, so Skylar, unfortunately you're a little bit limited on photos at the moment. You guys do have babies and still wanted to come. I still recommend it because it's still a great experience for you and for the baby. But maybe just come early in the morning so the sun isn't quite hot yet and be prepared. So bring your umbrellas, your hats, and I guess sunscreen for yourself. We have one sweetie baby over here. Why is the baby looking at daddy? You cannot go to the field. Hmm? It's also a good thing here in the Chilliwack Tulip Festival that there's a shaded area. I think this is where people eat for lunch. And I think there's also a small store over here where we can grab some stuff. Skylar, do you want to do anything? Hello, so how was it? How was your first tulip festival? It was something that we haven't seen before. Yeah. Ah. Lots of tulips. Lots of tulips. You got to the whole field? Yeah, we went to the whole field up to the end. <laughs> it's so <laughs> big. Plenty of flowers still for I think that's one kilometer away. Yeah. <laughs> Papa is showing us all the photos that they took. There's a lot of pictures. Yeah. <laughs> we made a lot of shots. Colorful that's ones. Memories. Wow. Ah. So are you gonna bring home some tulips to the Philippines? Maybe well, some can, seeds? Can do <laughs> I don't think you can. <laughs> So after taking a lot of photos in the Chilliwack Tulip Festival, we brought our family here at a pretty cool place that we've discovered over the last couple of years, just exploring here in British Columbia. Some of you guys may already have seen our videos here and we made sure to bring our family here just because of the beauty of the place. And I guess it just makes sense because the Chilliwack Tulip Festival is just a half an hour away from this place. So this place is called Harrison Hot Springs. And I think this is one of the most beautiful places that we've discovered here in BC. Especially on a bright and beautiful day like this, where you can see the snow-capped mountains while enjoying the warmth of the sun. I think the, I think the visibility today is just unreal. I don't think we've seen that mountain backdropping some of the buildings here in Harrison Hot Springs during the time that we've visited. During we've visited, I think we've always just seen this place either a little gloomy or there's a little bit of sun, but not this bright. Where's the baby? Sleeping. Sleeping and drinking milk. Oh, Skylar. Just enjoying everything. Yes. <laughs> enjoying the cool breeze, the sunshine, the view, the mountains. And the milk. And the milk, of course. <laughs> Mama, how do you like it here? Nice place. Very nice? Yes, very nice place. What's <laughs> inside? <laughs> What's inside? No peep! Safely ahead of vehicle traffic and to help ensure that we are on time for the next sailing. 
think we found one. <laughs> so after jumping around a few places in Chilliwack, we brought our family to kind of a specific spot here in Metro Vancouver because we were kind of thinking what would give them a more complete experience. So British Columbia being one of the best places to see wildlife, we were kind of thinking where should we bring Mama and Papa to see some wildlife? And not by just going to a zoo. So we just kind of recalled all of the places that we've seen wildlife before. And here in Bowen Island is the highest probability that we've caught a wildlife just out there. <laughs> They're so loud, eh? They're so loud. So we've been here in Bowen Island a few times, as you guys may know. And this specific spot named Cape Roger Curtis is one of our favorites. Not only because of the beautiful scenery, but also there's a few times that we've come here that we've seen some sea lions. And today is one of them as well. I'm counting how many they are. Must be about uh, a dozen here. And also in the water we saw some. They seem to love this wooden floating dock because the last time we've seen them as well they were just kind of lounging around that wooden floating dock good we saw them did you see them yeah i saw the sea lions it sounded like they were they had a uh, mic microphone speakers <laughs> it's so loud sounds around <laughs> surround sound yeah, yeah. they'll be at most <laughs> <laughs> They're so lucky because sometimes you can't see them, right? So Max and I have been taking turns on touring Mama and Papa around because this little Timbit is a little too sleepy early in the morning so, so that's why I'm staying here in the car with Skylar while they take a look at the other spots here in Cape Roger Curtis. It's a very beautiful spot here in Bowen Island, especially if you have the nice bright sunshine. But unfortunately, it's a little cloudy today, but that's fine. I think there's a few give and takes today. We've gotten some wildlife. Are going to come? I want to show you the parking situation here in Cape Roger Curtis. So parking is very limited. That's why we came very early. So we got a spot over there. Yeah, as you can see, there's not many spots. So if you are coming, come early. How is it? We saw one sea lion sleeping. Oh really? Yeah. On that side the well? Yeah, but it's... it's really cold. We were taking photos and we were like freezing. <laughs> <laughs> you were shaking? Yeah. <laughs> the water was freezing. It yeah. felt like the sea lion. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this Bowen Island trip is not complete without stopping by at the Artisan Square. So we've visited some truly remarkable destinations in this video that are worth adding to your must-visit list. From the delicious waffles at Crossberry Farms, to the vibrant beauty of the Chilliwack Tulip Festival, the rejuvenating escape of Harrison Hot Springs, and the captivating charm of Bowen Island. These places near Vancouver offer unique and unforgettable experiences. And to us personally, it has been an amazing feeling getting to bring our family to these beautiful spots we've discovered throughout the years. If you're looking for more British Columbia videos, we'll leave our playlist right here for your reference. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.